In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design and assemble these customized chip bags for your next event. Be sure to check out our water bottle and juice pouch video. I'll leave the card above the arrow. This tutorial will be using my Canva templates that I have designed. If you haven't grabbed it already, I'll leave the link in the description box below. And after purchase, you will be able to download this PDF file that contains links to an editable Canva template. And you'll be able to access that by either clicking on this little internet icon, or you can also access these tutorials by clicking on this YouTube icon. And once you're redirected to the template, you're going to come over here to file. And then you're going to select show guides and little purple guidelines are going to pop up. Now these are invisible and will not be on your final design, but they will be on every page within the template. The template will come with a layout guide, a design guide, a shape sizing guide, and a grid sizing guide to help you with your overall design. For the shape guide, you can change the colors and just bring your photos and put them on top. Or for the grid sizing guide, you can actually drag and drop photos and patterns in these blocks for your overall design. And to get started, you're going to want to go to Google or Etsy, wherever your images are. I like to use PNGs, and a PNG is when there is no white background, as you can see here, the little checkered pattern behind any of your images. After you will come over to the cloud with the arrow icon and upload any and all images that you're going to be using on your template. Now you're just going to drag and drop your main image, which will be the front of the chip bag, into that largest middle panel and resize and readjust it as needed. Now I need to find a pattern for the side panels, which will be the back of the chip bag. So I'm gonna to come to elements and type in gradient. And I found this gradient that matches almost perfectly. So I'm just going to rotate it and then I'm going to drag and drop it into that shape. Double click it and resize it because I want the blue at the top of my main image to match the blue on the gradient pattern. Now I'll just repeat what I just did to the other side. And sometimes when I zoom in, I get these weird lines that look like there's empty space so if that tends to happen all you have to do is just click on your main image and pull the sides out just a little bit further and i find that that fixes it just fine so i'm just going to continue working on the side panels which is the back of the chip bag adding extra elements and changing the color playing around with the transparency and the resizing and then once I get it to where I like it, I'm going to play around with the positioning so that it's not laying on top of any of the other design elements. Then I'll go ahead and copy and paste that and then go to flip, flip horizontal and move it to the other side panel. So for the top and the bottom of the bag, I'm going to delete the photo grids and copy and paste the solid shapes from the shape guide and then change the color based on the suggested color palette. Now 
Now I want to point out that this is our tape area, so all of your design elements will stay on the opposite side of this gray bar and at the very end we will delete that off of the design. So then I'm just going to finish the design by adding some nutritional facts and a barcode and any other cute little graphic elements. And now you're just going to add your text using the text feature and I'm just using a pre-made text template and you're going to type out what you want it to say. You're going to readjust it, reposition it, change the color, and then I'm also going to add an effect on it like a drop shadow and then I will change the color, mess around with the offset and the transparency. Once I've done that, I'm going to copy and paste and move it to one of the side panels that will be shown on the back of the bag and repeat and mess around with a cute little saying for the back of the bag. Now, once you are done and happy with your design, you're just going to click download select either a JPEG or a PDF, and then at the bottom here, click all pages, unselect all pages, and select your design. Click done, and then click download. Now that your design is done and printed, you're going to need one ounce chip bags, double-sided tape, scissors or a paper cutter like this one and now we're just going to cut off this extra white at the top the printer that I used did not print full bleed side to side so don't worry about that we're just going to worry about cutting the top of the chip bag and cutting that extra white off I really like using this paper cutting tool because it leaves me with a nice, clean, even cut. And again, don't worry about these. Yours will print edge to edge. The next step is to flatten and try to get any creases out of the bag. Now, taking your design, place it face down. Lay your chips in the middle of the design and as straight as possible. Then, take a piece of double-sided tape and add that to the back. Now, as evenly as possible, fold one of the side panels of the chip bag design to the middle of the chip bag and use the double-sided tape to adhere it without breaking any of the chips. Use double-sided tape going down the entire edge of the other side of the bag corner to corner and use your fingers to kind of press the chip bag down and line each corner up of the design. Then use your thumbs to secure the double-sided tape so that both sides stick together. And gently press down the entire edge of the bag. So then you should have something like this, the front, the top and the bottom open and the back. Then you're going to line the inside of the top and the bottom bag with double sided tape. Then 
Then use your pointer fingers on the inside of the bag to help line up the edges. Then you're just going to adhere the middle and use your fingers to press and smooth out the edges. Then just repeat for the other side. Then after that, you're all done. So I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.